All right, hey there, boys and girls. Uh, we are going to be uh, working on the math journal portion of Chapter 2. And we're going to take a look at these numbers here. And we're going to figure out mentally, but yet we're using paper, what our answer is. Okay, so we have uh, 35, there's 50, 85, 83, 2. And it said we can use the numbers more than once. So the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and add 50. To 35. So we're going to take one of our numbers there, 35, okay, and we're going to add 50 instead of 48. So 35 plus 50 equals 85. And now we're going to subtract 2. We have to subtract our 2 because that was the difference between the 48 and the 50. So we subtract 2 from 85. So 85 minus 2 equals 83. So 35 plus 48 equals 83. Okay, now we're going to go through and do a subtraction problem. So we're going to take a peek here. We have 20 or 72 minus 18. So let's start by subtracting 20 from 72. So what we're going to look at is 18 is really close to 20, okay? So we're going to subtract 20 from 72. So 72 minus 20, and again, we want one of them zeroed out, right? So it makes it a little bit easier, uh, kind of like rounding does. So 72 minus 20 is 52, okay? There's our 52 or 72 or 20. And now uh, we're going to add 2 to 52. The reason we need to add these two in is we also had to add the two to get to the from 18 to 20. So we still have to add those back or add those onto the 52 yet. So 52 plus 2 equals 54. So 72 minus 18 equals 54. All right, let's go ahead and go to page 36. And it says explain how to round. 458 to the nearest hundred, including number line in your explanation. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll make a little number line here, and I'll put this one and this one, and we're rounding to the nearest hundred. So when we say the number 458, the low end is the very first number, the four, 400. So this is 400. 100 more than 400 is 500. Okay, now halfway between 400 and 500 is 450. And each line, we can make a bunch of lines and go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So every one of these lines is worth 10. Okay, and we have the number 458. So there's 450, here's 460. Our number comes between here, and it's 58. So it's going to be about up in there somewhere, right? Again, this is our halfway point between the two. So it's closer. It's on this side of that line. So we will be going up to 500. We can look at the number 458. We're rounding to the nearest 100. So we can either be at 400 or we can be at 500. We're going to take a look next door. I see a 5. 4 or less, we let it rest at the 400. 5 or more, we're going to raise the score. It is a 5, so we're going to raise the score, and we would move it to 500. Now it says use front-end estimation to estimate the difference. Write the steps to your solution and check that your answer is reasonable. So front-end estimation, we're going to take the 9... The first digit, so 900, okay, and then again, we're going to take just the first digit, that leading number, the 100. So 900 minus 100 is 800. And that is how we would do the front end estimation for our difference. But let's go ahead and check now. Let's do uh, 905 minus 100 
78. Okay, 5 minus 8, oh, we can't do it, right? More on the floor, we have to borrow from next door. There's nothing to borrow from, so we have to make a little change there. Now there's 10 there to borrow from, okay? So we're going to cross out the 10 and make a 9. Add the 1 over, so 15 minus 8 is 7. 9 minus 7 is 2. 8 minus 1 is 7. So 727 is fairly close to 800. That is a reasonable answer, okay? Now, John used front-end estimation to estimate the sum of 317 plus 268. Do you agree with his answer? Explain. He said 317 plus 268 is 585. So 317 plus 268 is about 600. I don't agree with that either. You're right. If we're using front-end estimation. If we're going to use the front-end estimation, 317, the 3 says 300. And I'm just going to draw an arrow because that's what we had in the other pages that we were doing. So this would be 300, front-end estimation, 200. 300 plus 200 equals 500. Now in this case, this example, 600, is technically closer to the real answer, okay? But front-end estimation is only at 500, okay? That's why his answer is off a little bit. Okay, that is it for now. We will see you later for the thinking cap.